Hello, sports fans and football fans especially. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with my Week 9 NFL picks. Now, just to recap, Week 8. Yeah, that was a scary week. Uh, not only was it Halloween, but I was six and nine. You can't handle the truth. Last week, a very terrible six and nine. So I don't know. It, I mean, that's just crazy. So uh, I'm really hoping that we do a lot better this week. So, uh, yeah. Now, I'm going to preface my Week 9 picks by saying that Week 9 is Super Bowl week. And what I mean by that is that there's four games that are Super Bowl matchups of teams from the past in the Super Bowl. And... As a tribute to those games, I'm going to pick the actual winner of the Super Bowl in the corresponding game this week. Regardless of the record, regardless of the players involved, I'm going to go with the actual winner of the Super Bowl. Just because I want to. And basically, if you watch la yes, last week's games, you know that there's no rhyme or reason to who wins anyway. You think you know, but you don't. No, and you never will. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into it starting with the Thursday, November 4th game. And this is the first of the Super Bowl games. This is a matchup of Super Bowl three, the Jets and the Colts. And am I going to throw the Jets helmet this week? No, I'm not. I'm going to throw the... <laughs> Colts helmet because the Jets won Super Bowl three, and I'm going to go with the Jets to win this matchup. Uh, you saw Mike White. If Mike White is back out there, man, he threw for 405 yards last week. So um, that sounds pretty good to me. You know what I'm saying? So the next game we're going to do is the we're getting into the Sunday games now. These are the Sunday, November 7th games. And you've got the Raiders visiting the Giants. And in this one, yeah, let's go with the Raiders on this. We are not going to pick the Giants to win anytime soon unless they play another bad team. And even then, I have to consider who the other bad team is. Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! So now, the next one you've got is the uh, Bills playing the Jaguars. And the Jaguars are at home. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. No, we're going to go with the Bills in this. Let's pick the Bills to beat the Jags. I think that's going to be pretty easily done. No problem. Next one you got is the Saints are at home against the Falcons. Now, if you know about the Saints, you know that Jameis Winston is out for the rest of the year. And what does that mean for this game? Yeah, it still means that the Saints are going to win. Uh, if Hill comes back, if uh, Taysom Hill, their like, uh, jack-of-all-trades and master of none, becomes their quarterback, then you know that's fine. But he's out with a concussion, so it's unsure whether he'll be back. But even if it's that backup quarterback, we saw with Dallas last week, just changing the quarterback but leaving the rest of the team in place... Doesn't necessarily mean you got a bad uh, setup right there. So let's not assume that. The next one we've got now is the um, 
Bengals are at home against the Browns. Now, can I tell you how tight this game is to call? This is basically a coin flip, and I'm just going to take the Bengals in this game because the Bengals are the home team. But if you know, they lost to the Jets last week. Now, of course, some will say they lost to the Jets because the uh, refereeing helped them uh, uh, lose to the Jets. I'm not going to be the one to say that. Uh, you still have to outplay the other team. And really, when the other team is the Jets, you shouldn't even be putting yourself in a situation where the referees are deciding that game for you. And uh, the next one we've got is another, we got another Super Bowl matchup right here. Folks, we got the Panthers and the Patriots. And this is a Super Bowl matchup of Super Bowl, I believe it was 38. Leave a, you know, comment in the discussion there, but I think it was Super Bowl 38. And the winner of Super Bowl 38 was uh, the New England Patriots. And, uh, you know, I don't think I'm going out on a limb saying that the Patriots are going to beat the Panthers anyway. So let's just assume that that's what would happen anyhow, normally. We have another Super Bowl matchup right here. This is Super Bowl Twelve. If you'll remember the Craig Morton Broncos against the Roger Staubach Dallas Cowboys, well... These are not your father's Denver Broncos or Dallas Cowboys. But the winner of Super Bowl XII was the Dallas Cowboys, and that is who I'm going to pick in this game. Again, it doesn't matter to me if Dak plays. We saw the Dak beat, uh, that Dak's replacement beat the Vikings last week. So I don't think it really matters whether it's Dak or whether it's somebody else. Um, I think that, uh, you know, there, I mean, and really his replacement, Dak's replacement last week, um, I forget the guy's name. That's how notable he was, but he actually beat the Vikings. And, uh, I think he could do the same thing to the Denver Broncos because they had their hands full last week with Washington. All right. So that brings us to the Ravens are at home against said Vikings that we were just talking about. And uh, in this one, I am going to go with the Ravens. You like that? You like that? At home. I still think that this is a tight game. It's a, t it's a close one to call. But I'm going to go with the Ravens. Of course, you know, some days the Ravens play like they're a Super Bowl team. And then other days the Ravens play like they're terrible. So, who knows which one we're going to get. Um, and if you get the terrible Ravens, they'll lose to the Vikings. The next one we've got is the Texans are playing the Dolphins. Now, why is this game notable? This game is notable because Deshaun Watson has been rumored to be the uh the Dolphins have been rumored to be the team that Deshaun Watson will be traded to by the Texans. Now, we don't know if that's going to happen. You think you know, but you don't know. And you never will. We don't know if the Texans are just going to hold on to Deshaun Watson. We don't know if they're going to trade him to the Panthers. Who knows? But the Dolphins have been the team that has been right there at the front of the rumors. And wouldn't it be interesting if... Deshaun Watson was traded from the Texans to the Dolphins and played for the Dolphins. All of that, all of that added up together, very unlikely, but you never know. But in this game, based on what I know right now, I'm going to take the Texans to beat the Dolphins because the Dolphins are just a hot mess of, you know, I don't know, a hot mess of something. A mess, nonetheless. So, uh, now, the next game that we have is the uh, Chargers. At, uh, and uh, they're playing at the Eagles. And in this one, I am going to go 
with the Chargers. Although the Chargers, like a lot of these teams, like the Titans, um, like uh, the Bengals, one week they look like world be like the Ravens. One week they look like world beaters. The next week, they're terrible. But let's go with the Chargers just because. And I know that uh, Philly had a big win last week over the Lions when I thought the Lions were going to be able to pull it out because I thought that they were moving in the right direction. It seems like, no, they weren't. And uh, the Eagles let us know that they weren't. All right, so now this is the last of our Super Bowl matchups for the week, and it's the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. You remember this one? It was Super Bowl I. I was only about three months old at the time, so I don't really remember it, but this one had the Len Dawson Kansas City Chiefs and the Bart Starr Green Bay Packers. Well, now the Green Bay Packers have arguably a better quarterback than Bart Starr in Rodgers, and the Chiefs have arguably a better quarterback in Patrick Mahomes than Len Dawson. So, who would you pick? The Chiefs are at home, but I'm going to go, let's go with the Packers because the Chiefs have a defense that can't tackle, and I don't know how much you know about football, but if you're on defense and you can't tackle, that's not good. All right, so the next one we've got, the 49ers are at home playing the Cardinals. Now, again, the um, Cardinals have Kyler Murray out for the rest of the year. But I'm still going to go with the Cardinals. Yes, indeed, I'm going with the Cardinals because the same thing just applies that I said to about Dallas and um, that I said about, what was the other team? The Saints. The team is still there. The team that has forged a 7-1 and one record, whatever it is, is still the team that's there except for the quarterback is different. And they're just going to tell the quarterback, hey, you just have to game manage this because we have an awesome team playing for us. And really, the 49ers are not that good. We came into this year, we thought maybe the 49ers were going to put on this new show. It was just injuries last year. It was just COVID last year. It was just that they were displaced from their stadium whenever year that was. No, it wasn't any of that. It was just that the 49ers really are not that good of a team. So uh, now the next game we've got is the Sunday night game. And that is the Rams are at home and they're hosting the Titans. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Rams here because the Titans, can I tell you how much I hate the Titans? I hate them. They're my new I hate you team because they'll beat teams like Kansas City and um, Green Bay, just great teams. They'll beat great teams and then they play crappy teams or mediocre teams like the Colts that they played last week and they have their hands full with them. So I don't know what Vrabel's teaching them. What he's telling them, like, does he say, oh, guess what? This week we play the Colts. They're a mediocre team, so I'm going to let you guys go home and just have fun with your families and show up on Sunday, and we'll see what happens with the Colts game. Because that seems like what he does. So, you know, I'm going to say that the Rams will win, but then again, the Rams have let me down, too, in games that they should have won and didn't. And now we have the Monday night game. Now this is, uh, yeah, this is going to be a treat for me because you've got the Bears um, on the road going to Pittsburgh to take on the Steel Curtain. Yeah, right. Now, uh, by all accounts that I've seen, uh, Justin Fields is getting better. He's learning. The light bulb maybe is going on. But guess what? Ben Roethlisberger, he's had that light bulb and the whole power company going for like the last 15, 20 years. So we're going to go with the Steelers. I'm going to make the assumption, the crazy assumption, that the Steelers are going to beat the Bears. And I'm going to go with that. I would love to see my Bears win and beat the Steelers. And I really think there's a chance they can. But 
as far as the likelihood of it, no, I don't think so. So, now, that brings us to the buys. I'm going to let you know what teams are on the buy, and that is the Detroit Lions, who, like I said, I thought going into the Philadelphia game, hey, this team is moving in the right direction, but then they just, uh, the wheels fell off and they just fell off a cliff. So they are definitely not moving in the right direction. Uh, Seattle is off. Tampa Bay is off. And Tampa Bay, what happened to Tampa Bay? They couldn't beat the Saints with a backup quarterback. I don't know. They got to regroup. And then the Washington football team is also off this week. So what do you guys think about my picks? Do you like them? Do you love them? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, even if you don't like the picks. And if you didn't like the picks last week, you were smart because you should have called me up and said, Whoa, dude, you're headed for a cliff because I fell off of it. And uh, yeah, so I'm like at, at just, I'm just a hair below 60% now. And I got to get back to 60% or better this week with a big week. So let me know what your comments are. Let me know whatever picks you differ with me on. That's probably easier than just going through your whole pick. But if you want to write your whole picks, hey, do it. If you want to send a link to, uh, to me with the video where you have your picks, I will watch. I love watching other people's videos, especially when they're shorter than mine, and they all are. Uh, but for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.